same person. Hayden Hooker left early with concussion. I we're talking about Ben. But okay. I think he. Yeah. We can talk. We can talk about Ben. I mean, we just. I mean, yeah, he's kind of laid it up there. No, go, go ahead. Let's talk about Hayden Hooker. Talk about. Because I know we're going to have wait. differing opinions on this, so I want to. I want to hear what you think. Okay, so. I'm, yeah. Um. What is my take on him? Because you just put the pressure on me to tell me that we have different <laughs> opinions. I was. I think we do. I think we do. I was. I was proud of him. Honestly, I. I, uh, I didn't expect much. Right, like we already been watching him in practice. I feel like he's he was struggling with the reads and whatnot. Today, I felt like when he couldn't find someone, he was definitely finding this, this running back in the short, getting rid of the ball. Um, I know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure this might be your opinion if you're thinking we're gonna be different, but. I liked when he – I love when he runs. I do. I just – I think it's something he's got to learn to, like, take care of his body more because now you're getting tackled at the NFL level versus a collegiate level. I mean, obviously, he trucked two human beings today. That looked phenomenal. I mean, he's got that – he's got that it about him, though, where he can – he can do those things, but you don't necessarily want your quarterback doing that. I don't know how Josh Allen has held up over the years doing what he right. does. It, it had Cam Newton exit his career early, and he was a former MVP of the league. Um, I mean, he's definitely still a little bit sloppy, but – Brother, like, get the ball down there? Yes. Like, give me that. I, I'll take that all day because the first half of offense was unwatchable. Yeah, it was a disaster. Yeah, it was a disaster. Uh, no, I mean, look, okay, I don't I don't, I don't, don't disagree with what you're saying. My, so that's the, actually the first name that came to mind. I think it is for everybody. He's like, you think Josh Allen? And to me, he's definitely not built like – like, he's tall. He's strong. He's just not, like, physically built. He's He feels like he's much more – he's much slimmer. He's not He's not tiny, but he just feels slimmer. He's not Jaden Daniels. Um, yeah. Me, my takeaway was – my biggest positive was kind of what Golden Tate was saying, I feel like, which was what he was saying was, like, oh, he feels poised. Like, mm-hmm. I also felt like, even though it was little – could be wrong, it felt like the offense line was doing a little bit better outside of the, the one where he kind of, like, escaped the pocket and took off. But – other than that, like that was the biggest thing that stood out to me was finding the check down quickly, getting the ball out of his hands. It felt pretty quick because all the talk at camp was the complete opposite. Like the weird thing was, all the time at camp were like, "Oh man, who needs to speed up the process?" State Sudfield, and then it was like, "Well, Hendon Hooker, you know, he's playing slow." And then today, it kind of felt like the opposite. It was like, "Well, Hooker's getting the ball out of his hands. He may not be hitting who he's throwing it to, but he's getting the ball out of his hands." So to me, like when the lights came on what you just said is it like having that it like he just has he's a gamer he just feels like a gamer when he's out there but mm-hmm. my thing was i but i and it's not like i dislike like this is i just i pull back on maybe some of the hype from it because not it's basically his first game playing in the nfl i mean he's basically a rookie, yes so it's understand it's gonna look very shaky and he, and he also i mean he did miss a whole year like normally you just go right into the next year he didn't do that but i um I don't walk. I don't walk away like impressed with either of them. I wasn't impressed with either of them. I would say, you know, because Hendon Hooker very limited sample size. There wasn't enough to take from. Plus, he missed a couple throws. He missed one pretty badly. And for me, the mobility and stuff, I think it's nice. But watch this comparison. I'm about to go crazy here. I feel like what he did was similar to what we would see with guys like David Blau, Jeff Driscoll. Like when these guys would come in as backups, and it was like, oh, okay, they're moving the football a little bit. But I never really walked away and was like, man, they're dotting teams up. But it was like they're moving the ball because they start to utilize their legs. And it feels like when you have a lot of instability around you, having that to kind of like lean back on and you can just spark a drive by yourself is like that always felt like it got something going. It was like, hey, Tim Boyle's in there and it's a disaster. And then, oh, here comes uh, Blau. And it's like, hey, we got some, we got something. And I remember a lot of people wanted to keep Blau. And I, Hooker's going to be better than that. He's going to be the backup in the future. I don't doubt any of those things. Um, but for me, it was just like, the athletes there, that's why he was to pick where he was, like to me, because of all the confusion with the weird offense they ran, this dude has it. He separates himself athletically. He's not Nate Sudfield. He's a better athlete. He's big, he's strong, he can throw the deep ball. He does all the he has all the attributes. It's everything else that I feel like we didn't I didn't walk away thinking like, oh, he's making the easy throws look easy. It's like, okay, these were the issues that he had, and it's like this kind of looks like the player I expected. I thought he could go with his legs and he did. But I didn't walk away with impressed necessarily. It was just like this was fine. This was Kind of what was expected from the debut. That's that's how I feel about it. That was a super long winded answer. No, you're fine. That's what we want. That's what we're doing, right? We're talking about the game. I am impressed simply just because we watched him in black practice. You and I together, and we this we were like, whoa, whoa, yeah. like you know, not great. And yeah. I was nervous for him. I thought that it could be that type of outing for him, and it, and it wasn't. Um, not only did he not do that, but he also move the ball down the field. And, and in my opinion, I mean, so do you think he looked better than 
Sudfield then, I guess, is my question for you. I, from initial watch, man, I thought he looked – I couldn't say he was more accurate than Sudfield. I, I honestly couldn't say he looked more accurate. But I can say – that sounds crazy. I But I, I would say, like, when Sudfield was out – when <laughs> when <laughs> it does sound crazy, but, like – Kind of. Yeah, I, I think he was more accurate than Sudfield. I mean, Sudfield I took bigger chances, the, obviously. Like, bro, but even – okay, I could just remember wrong. I feel like even the pass to Hesse, like, wasn't a good pass. It was, like, a great catch. He, like, pulled it from behind him. Neither of them threw the ball accurate. I'm not saying, like, Sudfeld was accurate. I didn't think either of them was accurate. That's what I'm saying. I, I Hooker missed to me three passes in one drive. He that was means, five and nine. Yeah, and he, you know, he, that's fine. It's that's more, not good. It's, it's fairly – I mean – It's all right. Hey, look, I, I look. I, you asked. You said was, was he more accurate. I would say I can't say he was more accurate, but I can say – he was. He looked. He looked like an NFL quarterback, though. He looked big. He looked uh, super poised. And, and to what you said is when you saw him at practice, like it was like, can he speed this up? But what showed up? What did we like about Hendon Hooker coming out of college? I think everything you knew that you would like showed up, which was awesome. I always feel like that's like the immediate thing for a college rookie. If I like something in college, and we all tend to know this is the thing we should he should bring to the NFL, and if he can't bring that immediately, it's like okay, this might be a problem because that's what. You knew what you liked about Hendon Hooker, I thought, showed up. He doesn't throw the ball in the coverage very often, and he didn't do that. He took care of the football. He threw the check down his there. It's like, all right, cool. He took care. Of, he threw the little crossing route, let him out there. I thought he just did what we knew. I don't think he went above expectations for me. If anything, it was because of how poor Sudfeld played. I think that kind of rises some of the hype for Hooker because it's like, bro, That's fair. <laughs> what the heck was that? Yeah, I, I, I couldn't say he was more accurate. I just thought he was – he looked he looked like an NFL guy in the future, just not yet. I think – I mean, I think technically he was – more accurate, but he just he also didn't take as many chances. He didn't throw as many times, obviously, as Sudfield. He didn't right didn't play the same amount of snaps. It, hey, listen, some, some of that's been great. At the end of the day, though, like <laughs> what'd you say? Some, some of that had a couple good throws. You know, he had a little a little change you know. He had, a, he had a good throw. He had a good throw. You're, you're grounded. My bad. That's yeah. wild. <laughs> hey, Crazy. you know, he did though. He did though. He had some good throws, all right? Man. No, go ahead. In the second <laughs> half, bro, I couldn't even stomach Honestly. myself to, to to rewatch him on offense in the second half. I was that wait, was mind numbingly like piss poor. Not okay, but hold on. No. Go, go ahead, go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. Go no, go ahead. Okay, but okay, but in fairness, just because it's funny, couldn't we say that the passes that Hen and Hooker made Nate Sudfeld actually made the same throws? Like, like he yeah, did I mean, a lot throw of, a lot of Hooker the crosser. I know Hooker Williams. like. He just didn't have a big so, sample size. He he made that same throw, right? He made the same crossing throw. He made the little. The out? Um, he made the. Yeah, yeah, and then and then he well the one he missed to Kennedy. Uh, yeah, Kenny Younger threw it. But then he, he made the one to right Zilstra before the sideline. He broke. There was one that Hooker had that think was better down. than. I guess I have to rewatch that part. I think there was one throw that Hooker made that I wouldn't really, to be honest, with you, expect. Nice. Yeah, it was a nice throw. Oh, he I missed it. Was out made. towards okay. He made it. It was like it was towards the numbers, towards the, towards the uh, the boundaries. He has a stronger arm. I think he has the strongest arm on the okay. team. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up so I, I can th- read it to you. I go ahead. Now, what are you pulling it up on? Just so I can I pull it up too. No. Yeah, all, I was just looking at the play by play, just because I was trying to like see if I can oh, refresh and remember. He only did yeah, one drive, right? That. Or did he do two drives? He did two, he did two drives. drives. One bad one, and then so. one where he actually moved the ball. Yeah. Let me go. So he had a five. He had a five-yard pass to Isaiah Williams, which I think was the – I don't remember what that one was, to be honest with you. Then he had the Isaiah Williams 13-yard, which was the third down one, and that was nice because it was a little crosser. It was smart. They were a man. You know, he made the right decision. He got the ball out. So that was that one. And then he had the Hesse one, which I didn't think was great, but it was like, hey, it worked. He had a Zonovan Knight pass for nine yards. Mm-hmm. That had to be a check down because I don't remember that one. Is that a check down? That was a check down, yeah. And, okay, then the scramble, yeah. then a run, then a sack. Then a scramble, then an incomplete to Jones on the fade, and then the incomplete to the back. I may have missed something in there though. Yeah. Lions versus Giants. That's, that yeah, that was, that was his completion. So I mean, it, it just it's too small of a sample size. I, I'll say this: Hen yeah. and Hooker made a better impression but, but for good. sure than Nate Sudfield. It was good. It was. Absolutely. It's the thing. Like I'm not putting them against each other. It's just like he didn't do anything I, that I was like, what? Okay, I mean that's fine. What do you do mean? We truck two know. human beings. Okay, yeah, that. Well, the, he's different. He's he's built. Hey, Nate Suffolk's gonna be a problem, bro. Long term. <laughs> it's just, it's not there yet. It's okay. 
but he's going to be a problem long term. I completely, oh, I do no, agree okay, with you there. I'm a, I thought, I'm a I thought you meant like guy. a good problem just now. No, no, no. Like, like, bro, if I, I would not feel comfortable. I don't, if Hedden Hooker had to play an NFL regular season game today, I wouldn't be like, oh, let's go. I'd be like, oh, goodness, this might be a problem. It'd you might messy. get some awesome plays like, like a, that. Yeah, it'd be like when Tebow's winning games. There, yeah, okay, I like that. But eventually, it's not going to be like that. He's going to be able to hold his own. Oh, am I? Am I? Yeah, no, you're good. You're back now. I got to. I'm kicking somebody off my internet. <laughs> hey, you're good. Yeah, you're back. Man. I can hear you now. Okay. All right. Um, Hooker would have played with the cool. second team. He would have. That's another thing, too, right? Like, he was doing that with like the third team guys. Right. And then and then they switched back to uh, Sudfeld at the end because of the injury. And then Sudfeld did move the ball down the field, and that was probably his best drive. So, I mean, the weird thing was, though, when Sudfeld came back in, he had the he had like the I think he had the normal team that he had with him, and then they, I think it went three and out, and then they went to like the third team with Sudfeld in there. I think that was maybe the drive they moved the ball downfield, and then they got stopped. Honestly, bro, that's I don't why know. I was kind of pissed <laughs> off. They they gave. That's why I was pissed. They gave Sudfeld all the second team reps. Like if, if we want to like have like a fair comparison, I think even for their sake, they should allow they should have allowed Hooker to go with the second team as well. You know what I'm saying? And just to get an idea of like. What's he doing with this squad? Yeah, it's just different. Like, because I don't want the I don't want the excuse for Hooker doing better than Sudfield on that drive to be, oh, but he's going against the third or fourth team defense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. Like, give him the second team too, and to go against mm-hmm. second team. And I think we might see that next week if he obviously bounces back from the concussion. Um, yeah. I, I think there's value in that though, because football is kind of like that. Like. Patrick Mahomes is probably the perfect example of that. Not not the perfect example, but a example of that where not everything's done through the X and O's. Sometimes you just need that gamer. You need a guy who can make a play beyond the script. And it, that's that's a – there's an it factor to that, and that's how you win football games because football is just not a perfect game. Like not everything's going to go your way, and sometimes you have to make chicken soup out of chicken shit, and Hooker has that ability. It's just like can he get the X and O down as well? We can command the offense. They could trust to put them out there. And it's not just gonna be random shit all the time. But you yeah. but you need that in football. I, I truly believe like to win Super Bowls consistently, unless you have a phenomenal team all across the board, which the Detroit Lions kind of do this year. And that's why I'm willing to finally say I think Jared Goff and the boys could go to the promised land. Make it happen. No, I I look, I don't disagree with you. And it's it's you um, it's both sides, right? It's like there's statistically, like analytically, it's very difficult to judge quarterbacks based on those things like hey when they're under pressure when they're scrambling because all of a sudden everything's so inconsistent but to your point you do need those because yeah like especially once you get against good teams like you do with Aaron Donald or something like he's gonna blow things up the play just ain't gonna be there so and he showed us that today to your point and I thought it was nice because when you know they did the little like bootleg and I think one he took off on there that might have been this big run that could be wrong I think that was the one he broke the tackle on but like and then the other one, he like roll, he uh, ran down toward like the four yard line, like picked up half the. It's like when you get him on the move, it's real value in that because he's he really has a threat of just taking off. Like it's not like if everything clears out, he's going to get a couple side line. Like it's a real threat in his game. It opens up something different that neither Goff or Sudfeld really bring. Theirs is like last resort. His is like if it's there, I'm going. So it's definitely a different threat when he's out there. I don't disagree. Um, but for consistency, yeah, we just need the other things to dial in. But I have no issue with that, man. I yeah. I I feel fine with his debut. Perfectly fine. I, I just don't – I didn't walk away hype, but I was like, this is good. It's fine. Kind of what I expected. Come on, dog. I mean, is I that – well, I, I he, Because, but because he, we have time for other like stuff to roll throw. out. He, I, 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 bro, like, if he had – it's not his fault. He didn't have a big enough fan side. He didn't make a big throw to me. Something that was like, whoa. He just looked – He, I get, like I said, the biggest thing was he looked, he looked calm in there. He looked good. He didn't look overwhelmed. He could have looked crazy yeah. out there. He didn't, he didn't bobble no snaps. He didn't do nothing – he didn't really feel like a rookie. He was smiling. He just felt he like a guy that missed some and, he's, and he's only going to get better, man. Hey, no, I'm, with I, you, I'm man. on the. I believe it. <laughs> Come here. You should be in bed. People are going to judge me as a, as a parent. You got to go to bed after this, but you can come say hi. What'd you think of Hidden Hooker's performance? Um, the ones um, always like win when I cheer them up. They always win when he cheers them up. All right, go lay down. Okay. Right with that. We need it. We... <laughs> Good night, Bubba. I love you. Okay, okay. Yeah, they always win when he cheers them up. So. 
<laughs> he had a point there. Because today barely wasn't cheering easy because we lost. So I don't know what he's doing. <laughs>